We now dig deeper into the pixel transformation circuit, which is a type of circuit that takes a value of a pixel and then transforms it. There's multiple examples. For example, maybe you want to increase the brightness, um, you want to increase the contrast, or you want to detect whether a pixel is part of an edge or not. In here, we're showing a, a much simpler one, which is actually just takes uh, the red and the green and the blue for a single pixel and converts it to its equivalent grayscale. And as it turns out, there isn't a single way to actually do this. There's a few, and here are three of them. So the first one is actually the lightness method. And if you take a look at the equation, what it does, it tells you, okay, you have a pixel, a single pixel, you have the red and the green and the blue. Take a look at which one is the brightest between the three colors, which one is the least brightest, basically uh, the most prominent and the least prominent colors in that particular pixel, and just take the average of the two, and that will be the gray value. You just set, it, you just set your new RGB value to that particular value, and that's basically the lightness method. Another method which I've used extensively in this class and in other classes as well, um, it's actually taking the red and the green and the blue and you just take the average of the three of them. Um, the last one, which is the one we're going to implement, which is the luminosity method, and it's actually based on uh, how our eye actually perceive the different colors. So as it turns out, the, our eyes are more sensitive to green, and that's basically 72% green, and then followed by red, which is 21%, and then followed by blue. And if you think about it, they, they all um, sum up to 100%. So the, let's see how this is actually implemented. This is the one we're going to take because it's more interesting. It actually involves some sort of computation. So the way we're going to implement it is the following. We will compute the gray value. Okay, a single value, that's what we're going to compute. And then we're going to assign it to the red, then the green, and the blue. So how we're going to do this, we're going to multiply 0 0.2 to the value of red, 0 0.72 to the value of green, and 0 0.07 to the value of B. But as it turns out that actually um, these R and the G and the B are actually normalized values. So the R is actually something you take the pixel value. Let's assume you have a full red 255 is just divided by another 255, um, 255 divided by 255 and you get basically one. They are normalized to that. So we do unnormalize it. So what we're going to do is the 0 0.21 for red, which is basically that one. I'm going to take it. I'm going to multiply by 255. So I unnormalize it. And if you take the 255 multiply by 0 0.21, you'll get approximately 53. And that 53 is in decimal. So if you convert it to hex, you're going to get 0 um, x, basically the hex 35. And this is basically where these numbers are coming from. Um, go through the green. The green is the same. Basically, I want to denormalize here or get it back to the pixel value, not the normalized version of it. So I'm just going to multiply by 255. If you multiply 255 by 0 0.72, you'll get approximately 184. If you convert it to x, hex, that's what you're going to get. And those are here. So we, stare, we store these values in these local parameters. And then next, what we do is basically uh, we implement this particular equation. So this particular module in here, what it does take, it takes as an input a pixel value, which is 12 bit, and it outputs another 12 bits in here. Okay, so how is it doing it? Well, first, it's actually going to separate the input uh, color RGB into its R, its G, its B, and then it's just going to use this particular equation using these particular constant, uh, constances that, uh, constants that we actually have in here, and then you get a certain number. And because we're using fixed um, point arithmetics, um, we will just take the four most significant bits of that gray because they might be a little bit different, and really, like if you're de dealing with grayscale, um, generally speaking, you'll see that the red and the green and the blue are exactly the same, so we take the just the most significant four bits and we just replicate them and we output that and that basically will be our gray um, scale pixel so the input of here is actually a pixel that is colored and the output is the same pixel uh, but in gray scale